What's going on guys? It's Fantastic Films here today. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. Let's get into my superhero movie collection video. So if you've been following my channel for a while now, it's pretty clear, especially from this background that I'm in, I love superhero movies. I always have, especially when they're done right. So as a result, I tend to be a little more critical of my superhero movies and a little more hard on them than I would just a regular movie just because the superhero genre just means so much to me. Behind me is my superhero movie collection. It's pretty extensive. It goes down a couple shelves. But anyway, I'm super excited to show you guys these movies. I love most of these movies. Some of them I'm not crazy on, but like if it's in the MCU, I own all those movies and there's definitely a couple in there that I'm not a huge fan of. But nevertheless, let's get right into this collection. All right, so starting off, I'm gonna start off with my favorite series of superhero movies. Pretty obvious, it's the MCU. I actually don't have these movies organized in the regular way of just like when they were released, you know, by release date. I actually have them organized in chronological order. I saw this cool Instagram post and I wanted to watch them this way so I have them organized this way for when I watch them so I'll be excited. So first up we have Captain America the first Avenger. A uh, really good movie. Definitely a great start to the MCU. Then we have Captain Marvel on 4K. Um, I wasn't crazy about it. I liked it a lot the first time I saw it then rewatching it hasn't held up as well as I remembered it to. Then of course we got the original Iron Man, an instant classic and just a great film. Iron Man 2, I I really don't like this movie. It's definitely one of my least favorites, if not my least favorite in the MCU. Just, I don't know, just didn't really sit well for me. Thor, um, this movie's pretty underrated. It's not like amazing, but it grows on me every time I watch it. And I don't know, I just, I love Thor now. That he's like cool and good and like, you know, Ragnarok and all the Avengers movies, he's just really cool. So uh, these two solo films, not great, but they're okay. Then we have The Incredible Hulk, and I have this really cool slipcover, uh, Lenticular. But, you know, underrated opinion, I actually love this movie. I know a lot of people hate this movie, and they'll crap on it and stuff, say it's the worst movie in the MCU. Um, have you seen Thor The Dark World? Then we got, of course, The Avengers, and this is just a classic film, literally one of my favorites. Every time I rewatch this in like an MCU binge, I'm always reminded how good this is because after all, like, the movies are all just so good, you know, once you start tack like stacking them on top of each other, this just kind of gets forgotten, I feel like, on a lot of people's lists, just because people forget how big this was. When this came out, we hadn't seen anything like this before, so, I don't know, great movie. Then we got the very controversial and divisive Iron Man 3. I'm not crazy on it. I used to love it, and then I rewatched it, and every time I've, like, rewatched it since, it's just, it just doesn't sit well for me. That Mandarin twist, though, just doesn't work for me anymore. Thor The Dark World. This is easily my least favorite in the entire series. It's one of my least favorite movies. I really don't like this movie. It... Sorry. Captain America The Winter Soldier. This movie honestly rivals for my favorite MCU film, my favorite being Endgame. This is just so incredible. I love this movie so much. It's just so much more than like your average superhero movie. It's just a great movie. Then we got Guardians of the Galaxy and this, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just such a great film, one of my favorites. Then we got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and I've talked a lot of crap about this movie in my day. Um, not a great film, in my opinion at least. I think I can see how other people like it. I just, I love that first one so much and then just let me down like on so many levels. So every time I watch it, like halfway through I just start thinking to myself why the hell am I watching this why aren't I watching the really good first one so that's what usually happens then we got Avengers Age of Ultron and it's all right it's not as good as the other ones but it's it's fun you know I'm just a little too convoluted too much going on in this movie for the two and a half almost three hour runtime that it has it's all right then we got Ant-Man um, it's a fun movie then we got Captain America Civil War this is one of my favorite movies not only of the MCU but just in general everything about this this is another one like Captain America the Winter Soldier that really rivals first place in the MCU for me just such a great film then we got Ant-Man and the Wasp um, it's all right kind of like the same thing for Ant-Man for me it's like interchangeable it's a good movie. It's not amazing or anything, but it's it's fun. I like it. We got Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, as you'll see in this video, and this is just one of the best. I love this. This is maybe my favorite version of Spider-Man. I'm not sure, but it's close. It's really good, and uh, 
the MCU controversy with Sony, that's just, uh, it's really uh, unfortunate and sad and depressing. And I'm going to stop talking about Spider-Man now because I'm getting all upset. We got Black Panther on Steelbook for 4K. Um, this is beautiful. I love this movie. And what a great Steelbook. Then we got Doctor Strange. This is just one of the most beautiful movies on Blu-ray that I own. The visuals are insane. Really good movie. I like it. Ah, uh, yes, and we got Thor Ragnarok, one of my favorites in the MCU. This is just so funny. It's the movie that finally made Thor, like, a really appealing character, and I love this. This is one of my favorites. And we got Avengers Infinity War in 4K, and this is a really great movie. It's not as good as, like, the first time I saw it. It's weird. Every time I rewatch this movie, it kind of goes down in quality a bit for me. Still a great film, but just compared to Endgame, which, well, uh, no... Surprise, obviously, um, and Vendor's Endgame on 4K Steelbook. This movie's amazing. Uh, every time I watch this, I'm just reminded how this is great, but like not quite as good. But I don't know. I love I love both these movies, especially Endgame. This is literally like in my top 10 movies of all time. It's so good. So as we finished out the MCU, now we're moving on to the next series, and that is the Spider-Man movies. So I have Spider-Man 1. Literally one of my favorite movies of all time. Spider-Man 2, same for that. Uh, Spider-Man 3, it's not great. It's it's okay, it's watchable. You know, I can watch it. I don't hate myself when I'm watching it, but it's definitely not anything like special. We got The Amazing Spider-Man. This is easily my least favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. I really don't even like watching it. It's just, a, you know, Spider-Man is cool, but even my love for the character couldn't save that movie. <laughs> so here comes the controversy. Spider or the Amazing Spider-Man 2. I actually like this movie. I recognize its flaws. I recognize that it's way too uh, convoluted and it's just not a great film. But I like it. I have a good time with it. Then we got Venom. Um, yeah, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Such a great film. And this is like my most beautiful 4K transfer ever. It's just amazing. And then we have. I've always wanted to talk about this on my channel. Um, the Spectacular Spider-Man Complete Series. This is my favorite, the most accurate version of the webhead and my favorite version of the webhead I've ever seen. In my opinion, at least. I think this is the most accurate version of Spider-Man from Stan Lee's comics on screen. You know, I mean, this was canceled after two seasons, but just such a great show. Watch it if you haven't seen it because you're missing out. So then we have the X-Men movies. So I have the X-Men and the Wolverine collection. This is the first six, I wanna say. Uh, yeah, first six X-Men movies. Um, really good series. There's definitely some sneakers in there like X-Men Origins and The Last Stand. But overall, the X-Men movies, at least the earlier ones, were pretty good. Then we got X-Men Days of Future Past. And this literally rivals my favorite X-Men movie, Logan for first place. I mean, this movie's just amazing. It might actually, I might actually like it more than Logan. I know Logan's amazing, but like this just might be a better film, you know, like filmmaking wise, I'm not sure. Just, it's just, it's so good. Then we got Deadpool. Um, it's, it's really good. Uh, it's definitely not as good as the first time I saw it, but it's a fun movie. X-Men Apocalypse. I really don't like this movie. And then of course we got the excellent Logan. Um, James Mangold is one of my favorite filmmakers and this is one of my favorite films. So. That's pretty much all you need to know. And we got Daredevil, the director's cut. Um, I was young. Kick-Ass, one of my favorite movies ever. It's just so good. I love this movie. It's one of the best superhero movies ever made and just a really fun, like, bro night movie. The Incredibles. Just, I don't know what else I can say about The Incredibles that hasn't already been said. It's great. And Incredibles 2 was really good, but this is easily the best. Then moving away from Marvel and going into DC, we have uh, the first three seasons of The Flash and Arrow. Overall, these are the only seasons I like. I love The Flash and I love Arrow. And after those three seasons, they just went really downhill in my opinion. But overall, just a great, both great shows. You know, there's definitely a couple filler episodes. They're not perfect, but these first three seasons of each show are just really good. Then, of course, we got the Batman motion picture anthology. So the first four Batman movies. We don't talk about the last two, but the first two are pretty good. Then we have Batman The Dark Knight Returns Parts 1 and 2, the uh, deluxe edition, which kind of blends them both into one long, like, three-hour movie. Um, 
It's pretty good. And we have the Lego Batman movie, Watchmen, with this cool lenticular slipcover, the director's cut. We have Man of Steel on lenticular uh, Digibook. I think this is the Target exclusive, but really great film, and I actually like it so much that I have a uh, copy of Man of Steel on Blu-ray. It's in a 4K slipcover just because I swapped the slipcover at the store because it's just so beautiful and I didn't want to buy it on 4K, so there we go. I actually did that a lot for the DCEU movies. I have um, all of them except for Aquaman on Blu-ray. Aquaman I actually own a 4K, but we have Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, um, Blu-ray, not 4K. And we got Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, this was a train wreck. Aquaman, my gosh, this is literally one of my least favorite movies. I hate this movie. I bought it and I regret it and I just, I feel sad now, so thanks. Then we have Batman Begins on Steelbook. Uh, this is not only one of my favorite superhero movies, it's one of my favorite movies in general. It's Christopher Nolan. We got The Dark Knight on 4K and then The Dark Knight on Blu-ray. Uh, I bought the Blu-ray edition first, obviously, and then I got for, like the 4K edition just because I heard it's such a great transfer and it is, it's just gorgeous. This is literally like my second or third favorite movie of all time, so I don't even need to say anything else. And then similar to The Dark Knight, I have a copy of The Dark Knight Rises on Blu-ray Lenticular, and then I have a copy of The Dark Knight Rises on uh, Blu-ray Lenticular for a digibook from Target. I think it's a Target exclusive. Um, it's not as good as the other two, but it's still a great film, and um, it's, yeah, it's great. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my superhero movie collection video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like. If you had any comments, questions, ideas, let me know in the comments section down below. I always get back to you guys. Thank you again for watching, and if you like what you see here, make sure to subscribe. That way, I can see you guys soon. Peace.